Hi, welcome new and returning visitors and subscribers. In this video, we will look at using Microsoft PowerPoint presentations in Teams. This tutorial will be run on a machine running Windows 10 Pro 1909. We will look at the desktop application and the web browser experience. Suggestions. If your meeting has a large number of attendees, it is advised to have an additional person to act as a moderator. This allows the presenter to focus on the presentation. Some of the tasks of the moderator are admit guest or external users that are waiting in the lobby, assist with basic technical queries such as audio or video issues, mute the microphone of attendees that have interruptive background noise, respond to chats in the conversation area, and start and end recording of the Teams meeting. We're going to join the Teams meeting using the desktop application. Let's click on Join. I'm going to have my web camera disabled and click on Join Now. I'm in my meeting room now. I'm not going to go through this bar because I've covered that in a different video. I'm going to focus on Share. Let's click on Share. The options that we have available are Desktop, Window, PowerPoint, Whiteboard. In Desktop, you can select to share the entire desktop. If you have multiple screens, you can select the screen that you want to share. In Window, you need to have the application open. For example, if you have a browser or you have a PowerPoint, you need to have that open over there. And you can share that specific application window. PowerPoint, you can browse and you can upload your PowerPoint over here. Let's look at the window option. Let's click on the demo presentation because I already have that open and it shows up over there. Let's click on that. Right, so this is my PowerPoint slide. I'm going to go into slideshow mode. I'm going to move this up, enable the slideshow mode. In this mode, the presenter can focus on the presentation. The presenter cannot view chats or view the attendees. That's visible from this option over here. They don't have all the list of all the options that you have on the standard bar. The presenter can navigate through their slides and you can see animations and transitions work. To end the PowerPoint presentation, just click on stop sharing. Let's go back to share. Now let's select our PowerPoint. Go to browse. You get three options. Browse, teams and channels. If you've got the document in a team and channel, you can browse it over here. Second is OneDrive. Third is upload from my computer. For this demo, I'm going to select upload from my computer. I'm going to navigate to my presentation and click open. It's going to take a while to upload. It's always good to ensure that your PowerPoint is the size is small and light and compressed. This way it takes lesser time to upload. In this option, the presenter can view the chats, the conversation, and see the participants. This bar shows the slides, slide numbers and also gives the presenter the option to prevent participants from moving through shared presentations on their own. If this is not, if this is not crossed, that means the attendees can navigate through these slides. If this is crossed, the attendees cannot navigate through the slide and you have control over the slide deck and they can only see what you want them to see. As you can see, again, animations and transitions work. To end this presentation, click on Start Presenting. The next option is joining a Teams meeting via the web browser. I'm going to paste the Teams meeting link over here and I'm going to join it. It's going to ask me these questions. 
it's going to pop up this window. I'm just going to say cancel. I'm going to say join on the web instead. Click on allow. And in my case, I'm going to sign in using my account. To join the Teams meeting using the web browser, click on Join Now. I'm going to browse and share my PowerPoint. Browse, upload from my computer, desktop, open. This is because I already had it uploaded. It'll ask you these questions. I'm just going to say replace. As you can see, animations and transitions work. When you're done, stop presenting. Let's click on share again. And let's look at share a desktop or window. The options that you have available are your entire screen, application window, or a specific tab on Microsoft Edge. I'm going to select application window and look at my demo presentation. Again, you can see that this says that you're sharing and I go into slideshow mode. animations and transitions work. And when I'm done, I can stop sharing. The experience is same on Google Chrome. Let's join the Teams meeting as a guest via the browser. I'm going to say cancel because I don't want it to use the desktop application. I'm going to say join the web instead. Enter a name. Click on join now. The organizer or a or presenter needs to admit you into the meeting room. So let's have a look at that. It says this person is waiting in the lobby. Click on admit. Let's go back to the browser. And we see the slide. We see the PowerPoint presentation. As you can see, the attendee can navigate through the slide deck. Presentations animations and transitions work. And if the attendee wants to return to where the presenter was, click on to presenter and he's back at that page. Now, the presenter disables the ability to navigate the slide deck, which is clicking on this option and go back to the browser, which is the guest area. You can see that the attendee or guest cannot navigate through the slide deck. He can ask to take control and the presenter or organizer can grant that control or reject that request. The guest has the ability to share a desktop and window and that depends on whether the organizer or presenter allows that to happen. That's all we're covering in this session. Hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching.